Hey guys, the next one we have up is we're going to take a look at the ship question. So at 1 p.m. ship A was 80 kilometers south of ship B. Ship A is sailing north at 30 kilometers per hour and ship B is sailing east at 40 kilometers per hour. How fast is the distance between them changing at 3 p.m.? So we're going to start off and we have two kind of states in this one. We have when it's 1 p.m. and we have when it's 3 p.m. At 1 p.m., ship A was 80 kilometers south of ship B. So we have B right here, and then all the way south of this, we're going to have A, and originally, that's 80 kilometers. Then, at 3 p.m., what happens is ship A is going to be sailing north, and ship B is sailing east. Just So, ship B is sailing in this direction and ship A is sailing in this direction. And what we can see right here is this again gives me the Pythagoras relationship. So we get our classic relationship that we're going to be using again of x squared plus y squared equals to z squared. Well let's dive into this. So we have x squared plus y squared equals z squared. I take the d over dt of this and that gives me 2x dx over dt plus 2y dy over dt equals 2z dz over dt. Well, what are the values that we're going to have here? If we're looking, originally at 1 p.m., we have that ship A was 80 kilometers per south. If ship A is sailing north at 30 kilometers per hour, then at 3 p.m., or after two hours, we're going to end up being, or it's going to have sailed 60 kilometers up, or we'd have 20 kilometers left right there. Ship B is sailing east at 40 kilometers per hour, again, for that two hours, so that's going to give me a value of 80. Now I have my x, I have my y. The next thing in this case, our z is changing. So to find out z, what I'm going to do is I punch this into the Pythagoras theorem again, and I get 20 squared plus 80 squared, which is going to give me the square root of 6,800. Now, I'm not going to bother reducing it at this point in time. In this case, we're probably going to end up getting a decimal answer. So we'll just toss that in when we get to the decimal part. From here, I have, oops, I have my 2 multiplied by 80. And my dx over dt is just the rate that it's sailing east at. So that's going to be multiplied by 40 plus 2 multiplied by 20. Now the dy over dt is going to get a bit trickier because it's negative 30. Why is it negative 30 as opposed to the positive 30? Again, because what's happening is it's decreasing the distance. So as it's going upwards, it's decreasing the distance between b and a. As such, we put it in as being a negative value. So I get 2 times 80 times 40 plus 2 times 20 times negative 30 equals 2 multiplied by the root of 6,800. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to punch this in to my calculator. I get dz over dt and it's going to equal 2.5. Sorry about this. And it'll approximately equal 31.5. I hope you guys enjoyed.